Hey, the last time I talked about my Galaxy S7 Edge vlogging setup, I mentioned this bit of Velcro right here, but carelessly never told you what it was for. So here's a quick run through of my complete Galaxy S7 Edge vlogging setup. <music> So let's start with the phone itself. It has a pretty good rear camera that goes all the way up to 4K and the volume buttons on the side can be set to function like the record button. The rear camera also has a pretty decent viewing angle so you can be sure that you're in frame holding this thing out in front of yourself at arm's length. Arms and hands are pretty versatile but of course there's something that's a little more convenient. Joby Gorilla Pod Focus, excellent equipment, well worth the money. And of course tripod mount. I use one of those. I think they're pretty generic so they should be the same probably all over the planet. I feel safe using this. If you're not involved in heavy action and waving this thing around, you should feel safe too. If you don't, go for another tripod mount. Now what else do we need? We already have a pretty decent wide angle on the rear camera. And if we switch to the selfie cam, we have an even wider angle. So we already got two different lenses working for us. But what if I want more versatility? Samsung lens cover. This is pretty much a cover that has a mount up here, works just like a regular cover. Of course also fits the tripod mount. Now let's put on the wide angle lens. As you can see now we have a super wide angle that comes actually pretty close to the 10 millimeter aesthetic that Nystad features in his vlogs. But it also comes with this tele lens. This comes pretty close to about a 28 millimeter on a crop sensor camera like the 70D that Nyset uses. For the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna leave it at this. It gives you another option to expand your cinematography. Sound department. The Galaxy S7 Edge's internal audio is pretty good for a smartphone, but for vlogging, it can be better. Rode VideoMic ME, just plug it into the headphone jack and clamp it to the device, so it looks like this. Now using the Rode VideoMic ME, your voice should be a lot clearer and a lot fuller. Altogether, it should just be a nice experience to listen to your vlogs. Battery life. This thing actually gave me five hours of continuous shooting in 1080p. It probably would have done the same in 4K, but my SD card space would have run out before the battery did. So five hours, if you're using this only as a vlogging device, is awesome. Still, there's these things that are called power banks. In my case, this external battery connects to this device via Velcro. Ta-da! And this is what it looks like. It's very important that this is really, really thin, so it still fits the tripod mount and it's not too long. So if you were to switch the Rode VideoMic ME, it would still fit, so these two don't interfere. This power bank has just the right size. It's actually credit card size. Now the cool thing about this is you can have as many external batteries as you want. Also, should you not need the phone, carry it in your pocket or your backpack, it's pretty easy to charge. Remove this, get the connector and simply charge your smartphone on the go. So this is a complete setup. Great quality audio, a variety of lenses, extra power and a great freaking smartphone slash camera. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. If you feel like supporting the channel, definitely check out the video description. There are some product links that might be interesting for you. In any case, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the many nice comments that I'm privileged to read. They're awesome. They always keep me uplifted and going. Thank you so much for that as well. And Hopefully, see you in another video.